Kidney disease is a worldwide challenge, one that respects no boundaries and offers no compromise to the disadvantaged, neglected, and suffering. There are a tremendous difference between affluent societies and less privileged societies uh, in the treatment and prevention of kidney diseases. Most people associate kidney disease with dialysis and transplantation, life-saving treatments for those who have lost all kidney function. But few know that at least 5% of the adult population worldwide has chronic kidney disease. This 5% is at high risk of heart attacks or strokes, the most common causes of premature death in the world. And in the world's less favored regions, the situation is made worse by lack of proper medical training and diagnostic resources. Once you diagnose somebody with a chronic kidney disease, it's, it was a death sentence. We didn't have dialysis services, and so we, we didn't provide much for them. And I felt that I could make a difference, and I wanted to help uh, these patients, and I wanted to do something for them. One philanthropic organization leads the way in responding to the challenge of kidney disease and in confronting the disparity of care available amongst the many regions of the world. This is ISN, the International Society of Nephrology. ISN is a unique mix of volunteer people working to help other people. It's 9,000 plus professional members, spanning more than 126 countries, share the same core vision. The focus of ISN is to develop nephrology, kidney medicine all over the world, in both the developing and the developed world. By training doctors and educating doctors and other staff you need, and giving them the chance to learn about kidney medicine and to learn how to do things well in their own countries. ISN is trying to give them the skills they don't have to make things happen. By the end of 2010, I think we'll have over 100 sister centers that have been supported by the ISN. About $500,000 worth of travel grants, about 500 fellows from the emerging world that have received their training in nephrology, gone back to their own countries. A key element of ISN's work is its training of doctors throughout the world, especially in regions with the greatest need. ISN Fellowship Program, the Sister Center program is a fantastic way of seeing how we in the developed world can help a whole range of different developing countries. ISN is very much committed to ensuring sustainability and diversity, and young nephrologists are a key part of that sustaining um, of all of the activities, and their enthusiasm and energy is actually what we're trying to cultivate. You can see the results of ISN's efforts in the faces of the people they've helped. Right now, the most advanced medical technology and training facilities are unavailable to 85% of the world's population. The humanitarian and philanthropic work that the ISN does represents an investment in the lives and health of patients with kidney disease and in the care providers of those with kidney disease around the world. Yo no tengo la menor duda de que las donaciones que se hacen a la Sociedad Internacional de Nefrología se traducen en efectos medibles y claros en términos de mejoría de la salud de pacientes renales y de la prevención de la enfermedad renal, sobre todo en países que son los menos afluentes, los económicamente menos favorecidos. Everybody who supports ISN is contributing to making a real difference.